This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I am back. And I wanted to talk about witchcraft, supernatural against supernatural. God told me to tell you that's what's happening today. Let me tell you something. This, this thing go deep. It, it's deeper than a Bible. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's talking about the power of God. Now, the word of God, we use the Bible as a sword. But this is talking about supernatural against supernatural. And and. Again, I couldn't even write a title. I'll write when we, when I finish. They mess up with my computer. Y'all know that. Whatever. I don't even care. Let me tell you something. In this hour, oh God, let me slow down because y'all need to catch this. Please catch this, people of God. They're using witchcraft like never before in this hour. You got to stay prayed up, God says. You have to fast. You have to pray over your family. This is not a game. Them people are not playing. This matter of fact, forget people. The devil has come to steal, kill, and destroy, God says. And your only weapon is the spirit of God to combat it, which is the anointing of God, which is the power of God, which is the fire of God, which is the presence of God. You want to know how the devil's taken over the churches? Because there's no presence of God. Because in the presence of God, everything has to flee. Oh, come on, somebody, demons tremble when it's the real anointing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you what God is saying. In this season, you got to up your prayers. In this season, you got to watch who you connect to. In this season, you got to guard your gates. In this season, you got to pray like you ain't never prayed. In this season, you got to fast like you ain't never fast. In this season, you got to war like you ain't never war. In this season, thus said the Lord, this stuff real. You cannot be no timid Christian in this season because you're going to get rolled over in the spirit and in the natural. How do I do this, apostle? You're going to have to get before God in your private place. You're going to have to back away from social media. Come on, somebody. You're going to have to. Oh, I've got to say some hard things on here. Husbands and wives that are married, sex ain't it, baby. Y'all better learn how to fast and pray. Look, honey, look. We're going to meet up next week. What y'all think this is a game? Pastors, preachers, teachers? Abstain. You have to have a high spirit in this hour. God says that we're letting too many things in. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You wonder why people are not anointed? Because they're not doing what it takes to be anointed and to stay anointed. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And these demons, they on it 24-7. But Christians, you want to take some vacay. You like to vacay. You, you, like to be, you like to be in everything but what God has called you to do. I'm so serious. In this season right now, God was saying, a lot of you are going to be catching headaches, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. That's witchcraft. Thank you, Lord. I'm going I'm to tell you what's happening. And I said, I won't go about this. Y'all wondering what's happening at those concerts that Kanye is giving. There's a vibration. There's the frequency. Y'all know what frequencies are? I'm, I'm going to talk to y'all for a moment. Y'all know what frequencies are? There are sometimes things heard in the spirit that cannot be heard in the natural. And you sitting up there thinking that this is all a game. The spirit is more real than the natural. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all better start learning. I suggest you get in that word like never before. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord, because there's a shift. There's a shift happening. And unfortunately, evil is rising. Where's the power of God in this hour? Where's the power of God? Why aren't people walking in the true power of God? This is not an entertainment. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. As a matter of fact, that's what God says. Y'all let too many things into entertainment. This is not entertainment. God is about souls. God is about souls. I'm going to say it again. God is about souls, people of God. God don't care what you drive, where you live, and who you married to, truth be told. No, don't, no, no. You know what he cares about? Are you saving my people? Are you doing like the disciples? Disciples, 12, 12 disciples, apostles. Turn this world upside down. And here it is. We have more Christians in the United States. Churches on every corner. And yet your neighborhood ain't even saved. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Your neighborhood ain't even saved. I don't understand. I never could understand it. How could you have a church in a neighborhood that's full of drugs? Where's the power of God that make them want to put that pipe down? Oh, come on, somebody. Don't make me start because I can get on one for real, for real. The power of God should be so, let me tell you something. As soon as you walk in a place, people ought to just look at you. 
It's something about her. It's something about him. They should feel your presence. Hallelujah. Because I don't believe in this new stuff that y'all do. Talk about. We got to usher in the presence of God. If the presence of God do not dwell with you, you do not know God. It's supposed to dwell with you. But this is about relationship. But, but I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all just have relations. What is relations? Y'all go in and out. When it feels good and when it don't feel good, I don't want to go to church. But true Christians know that when I'm going through, I got to go. I got to pray. When, when people don't understand, I got to pray. When I don't feel like it, I got to pray. Y'all get what I'm saying? You got to be consistent in this hour like never before. God say the consistency is, is wavering. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God say. In this hour, witchcraft is high, you guys. I've been speaking on this for months. And he put it in my spirit again. Witchcraft is high. They're not playing. Hallelujah. So get up on your job. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Anoint yourself. Pray over your house. Pray over your kids. Pray over your possession. Pray over your money. Stop connecting with just anybody. Don't sow into just anybody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't do it. I'm telling you what God said. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah. And I want to do something. Um, I got another round of letters. Um, I'm not gonna say names. I'm not gonna say names, I'm just not. But everybody that wrote me, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and pray over you right now. I'm, I'm not going to say your name. You know if you wrote me. Oh, but I do have to bring up something. The lady that sent this. I hope y'all can see it. Let's see. It's a cup and it says, the woman that sees. Oh, I thought this was so beautiful, you guys. So I definitely want to tell her thank you. Thank you so much. This was beautiful. Also, she sent me this. I guess she said, this woman loves to fast. So she sent me a leather um, thing about fasting. Thank you so much. I mean, it's the little things, you know. Um, yeah, that's the list of little things. I don't accept anything from anybody, so she's a woman of God. So anyway, I'm going to pray over these, and I want y'all to know if you write me. Um, and here, here's the priest protocol. If you do not have a pastor, you can send tithes. If you have a pastor, you're supposed to send your tithes to your church. Okay, I'm, I just keep it 100. So let me go ahead and pray right now over all these. <sighs> Father God, in the name of Jesus, you know everybody that has written me, Father God. And Father God, you know I earnestly read all of them, by the way. So Father God, I just pray for every last request from family, Father God, from friends, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, you know what everybody needs, Father God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, for favor, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. Bless them coming in and going out, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God. I decree and declare there's going to be a turnaround, Father God. I decree and declare anointing, Father God. I decree and declare, Father God, favor like never before in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God. Move on their behalf, Father God, as your prophet, Father God. I ask you, Father God, I gird them, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God. I decree and declare, Father God, that there's a turnaround over their lives. There's a turnaround over their lives. There's a turnaround, Father God. Healing, Father God. Deliverance, Father God. The presence of God. Only the presence of God, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, you said that you sent your word. Father God, I agree. You said, if any two shall touch and agree. Father God, I touch right now and agree with them, Father God, for what they have in need of, Father God, in their mind, their body, their soul. Father God, bring that daughter home, bring that son home, bring that husband home, bring that wife home, heal that body, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the power of God is still real. The power of God is still real in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare it to be so, Father God, as a prophet of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I say this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell y'all something. God is real. And thank you all for the letters. And believe it or not, I take my time and I read them all. Also, I got this big, thick book. I don't want to, um, because her name is on it. But um, that's a big, thick book, lady. But uh, I'm going to be reading some of it. I, okay? So I thank everything. I thank y'all for all that you send. Um, praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you all. But these are serious times. Oh, my God. I, I cannot stress Please, please, please get closer to God in this hour. If you don't see, I don't know what to tell you. I'm seeing all kind of things happen, even in the spirit room, even in the natural room. I say, God, what's going on? 
He said, Deanna, the end is near. Y'all listening to what I'm saying? I know y'all still want to be on this earth. I, I know y'all still love what y'all love, but it's almost over with. And I know y'all like y'all don't like to hear it, but it's just the truth. Be close to God in this hour. Repent. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Hallelujah. This stuff real. All right. Yeah, Sabrina, you're right. It's time to come up higher. It's time to come up higher. And Mr. James Harris, yes. Yes, the power of God in most of these churches is found in prosperity. Yes, yes. And I'm not saying we don't need money because we all need to pay bills, but you ain't supposed to be, you ain't supposed to be manipulating people out of their money and running no con games. That and that's what most of them are doing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. This is protocol. We supposed to let y'all decide what God, first of all. This is how I'm telling y'all protocol because a lot of people don't know protocol. This protocol. If we have a need, and y'all know we do, we're supposed to pray to God and God touch your hearts and, and whatever you send. That's how it's done. That's how it was done through tabernacle. It's supposed to be done. And hold on. It, it's not supposed to be just a pastor that are blessed. In the tabernacle days, they, they, they distribute it evenly. Come on, somebody, evenly. And can I tell you something? Everything y'all sent in, I tithe. Yes, right. I tie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Off of everything. You don't hear me? This stuff real. This is God's money. And to be honest with you, what God allow you to get, your job and all that money that you get, you're supposed to be tithing and do what God said to do. You ain't supposed to be doing what you want to do. Come on, somebody. He's Come on. Hallelujah. Because you don't know who he's going to tell you to help. I think the body of Christ then kind of got dis, disgruntled. It ain't about stuff and material stuff. That's all. Please. You're supposed to be there for your brother and your sister. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't know why I'm going or where it is. Is that confirmation for somebody? I'm, I, I just need confirmation. You know when God tell you to help somebody. I'm, I, I don't know if that's God. <laughs> no, let's be real. Some of y'all don't want to do it. So it'd be like, I, I got to hear from God. <laughs> I love y'all. Do I do? I do. All right. God bless y'all. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out. So just for that is who we are. I hope I can get off this time, right? Because uh, y'all know how they're doing. Uh, all right. God bless you guys.